may or may, know, may or may not know, I should say, about something that's been running in the background over the last couple of days. There's been an incredible hackathon going on. We've been engaging uh, attendees under the age of 35 in this uh, challenge to solve really critical problems. Um, so you might have met some of the hackathon attendees, I might have come and asked you questions, you might have heard about some of the brainstorming that's going on or seen the feverish activity. But to tell us more, I'm going to welcome to the stage Olivia Reschatello, who's going to take us through uh, the hackathon and also introduce us to our hackathon winners. Welcome, Olivia. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm here to talk about something exciting that's been happening in the background. But before I do, I want to say hello to everyone here. I'm Olivia Rishtello. I'm the Governance and Social Impact Advisor at Modern West. And when I'm in this space in my EDU hat, I am our Youth Invent Inclusion Specialist. And so I'm thinking about all the ways we can get young people into these seats in the room and have them contribute to this space in meaningful ways. That's what's really important to me. And it's something that Graham, Michelle, and the whole Energy Disruptors team and I have aligned on since day one, is how can we make this space more approachable and inclusive for young people to participate? And I'm really proud to say that this year at Energy Disruptors, we had over 700 young people in the audience. I think that deserves a round of applause. Yeah. The EDU team has been so committed to this journey of inclusion throughout the last six years that I've been working with them, it's been such a privilege to see how they create spaces for young people like me to be able to step into this and make our impact and have our voices heard. And so I'm so proud of that. I'm here today to talk about our Youth Hackathon, which is happening for the first time this year. We put out a call to all of our young innovators to put in an application to participate in the Microsoft Youth Hackathon. And we had hundreds of applications. From that, we picked our top 75 youth to come participate in a five-hour hackathon challenge where they picked a problem statement and developed a prototype and hacked and ideated and came up with a solution that they presented last night. So last night we got from 15 teams down to three teams, and today we've gotten down to our top team who will be presenting on the main stage today. But before I invite them up, I'd love to invite our judges up to the stage who helped us get down to this one, one team that's gonna be presenting. And so I'd love to welcome to the stage Daryl Willis, Corporate VP of Energy and Resources Industries at Microsoft. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Brianne Hamilton, VP of Growth and co-founder at Everbrave. <laughs> and Mark Little, CEO and co-founder of Johnson. Amazing. And so I got to see all 15 teams pitch. They were all amazing. I don't know how you guys did it. You got it down to one team. Tell us a little bit about the team that we're gonna see. Why were they the winner you picked? Well, it was a fantastic uh, afternoon. And in Mount Royal University. My name is Dylan Chi and I'm a teacher here at the Master's in Data Science and Applied Systems. I'm Sina from Estonia. Hi, I'm Bryn and I work in software, specifically product management. The food service industry is the largest consumer of energy within the commercial building space, accounting for 28% of total uses. 
Within this sector, 74% of energy is used by HVAC systems and kitchen appliances, presenting substantial opportunities for predictive optimization and cost savings. We are introducing EcoSense, the product that increases energy efficiency in kitchens using machine learning. With EcoSense, we will aggregate historical data in terms of inventory, occupancy, currency, and we will use machine learning models and we will forecast two primary components. We will forecast occupancy and we will forecast efficiency. And they are left in order of nature. We will use these forecast models and distribute the models in three different ways. First, we will use them for HVAC and electrical appliances to minimize their energy consumption. And secondly, we will use uh, these forecast models to forecast inventory requirements, minimize food waste, and minimize energy consumption in supply chain. Together, we can create a more sustainable digital culture. We are convinced that EcoSense is not only a safe operator of our product lines and energy, but also increased sales and drive customer engagement that is collected on a weekly basis. From this, we expect the same outcome over in excess of the product we design. Our system uses low cost.
I do want to shout out our youth council, who's also made this all, all possible. Uh, getting 700 youth out to this event is exciting and fun. It also takes a lot of work, and we have an amazing council of young leaders who help make that possible. So a big shout out to them. Awesome. With that, I'm very excited to continue.